Hello third grade. Today is Wednesday and we're going over our big book story. So in your big reading book, you should be on the page that looks like this. It's page number 94 at the bottom. We're going over a mountain of history. Today we're talking about another monument and landmark of our country. So we've talked about the Grand Canyon already. We talked about the MLK monument and now we're talking about Mount Rushmore. Follow along in your book with me. A Mountain of History. Mount Rushmore honors four special United States presidents. They are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Right, so these are these four presidents right here. As we read, we're thinking about our essential question, how do landmarks help us understand our country's story? Read about Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Find out what it tells us about United States history. Remember, our stories this week are expository text, so that teaches us new information about something that maybe we didn't know before. Here's a picture where you can kind of get an idea of how big it is. People from all over visit South Dakota's Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Now before we begin, I got a short little video for you on how um, Mount Rushmore was formed. Now that you have a little background with that video, let's go ahead and keep reading. Page 95. How can a mountain be a monument? Every year, millions of people travel to Mount Rushmore. It is a mountain in the Black Hills of South Dakota. The Black Hills is an area, so kind of like you think of the Rocky Mountains. The Black Hills is like that for South Dakota. So it's this area of lots of hills. They're not quite big enough to be mountains, but Black Hills. What is so important about this mountain? The heads of four United States presidents have been carved into its side. Mount Rushmore is a national landmark. It is also a national treasure. Rushmore's birth. Let's learn about how it was created. An artist named Gutsum Borglum designed the monument about 80 years ago. He chose four presidents. They were the symbols of our country's best qualities. George Washington led a new nation. Right? So thought he was really important because he started a nation. Abraham Lincoln ended slavery. He also thought that was really important, so Abraham Lincoln's on it. He kept the nation together during the Civil War. Thomas Jefferson helped our country grow, and Theodore Roosevelt saved land for parks. So he thought those four presidents were really important to be included in, Rama, in Mount Rushmore. These leaders stand for the first 150 years of American history. Now, we've got a little stop and check here, our ask and answer questions at the bottom. 
Why are the four presidents on Mount Rushmore symbols of our country? Reread to find the answer, right? Well, we went through those four. George Washington, first president, started the new nation. Abraham Lincoln ended slavery. Thomas Jefferson helped us grow. And then Theodore Roosevelt saved room for parks so that our, our country would stay nice. Carving a monument. Up here at the top, you can see a picture of 400 stone workers helping to carve the faces. Can you imagine being one of those workers that was going to help to carve that? Carving Mount, creating Mount Rushmore was a big job. First, the artist made small models of the faces. He used them to guide the workers. The workers used dynamite to carefully blast away the rock. Then they used tools to carve the faces into the massive mountain. 400 people worked for 14 years to finish the grand sculpture. The monument cost almost $1 million. Look at how big that is. That's one of the president's noses, right? That's just his nose, and there's that little guy up there working on it. That's a full-grown man, but he looks tiny working on that nose of um, those presidents. Think big. Just how big are the faces on Mount Rushmore? Really big. The faces of the presidents are 60 feet tall, as tall as a six-floor building. Their noses are 20 feet long, and their mouths are 11 feet wide. So picture that. 60 feet tall, that's like me standing on top of myself 10 times. Right? It's huge. Me spreading my arms all the way out twice would be how wide that mouth was, right? These are ginormous monuments. Here we've got a little sidebar on Native American history at the top. Native Americans lived in the Black Hills long before Mount Rushmore was built. It was a special place for them. It is important to learn about Native Americans and their history. For this reason, the monument includes a Native American history village. Visitors can see teepees. They can find traces of Native American life long ago. The Heritage Village gives clues to the past. It teaches visitors even more about Mount Rushmore and the country's history. You can see there we have a Native American that's teaching this little boy all about his culture. Discover the facts. Most people visit Mount Rushmore in the summer. Park rangers talk about the history of the mountain. Visitors can visit the museum to learn more. They can discover facts about the presidents. They can also visit the artist's studio. Mount Rushmore is an important landmark. It is a symbol of our country's history, and it reminds people of four great presidents. Now, we're going to jump to do our worksheet. That's these questions right here. So, it should have been in your Wednesday folder. It looks like this. Let's go ahead and let's jump to do some of that together. Make sure you've got your name on your worksheet. We already read our story, so now we've got some different questions here. First question, how can you tell that Mountain of History is an expository text? Well, we learned that expository texts give facts and details, and that's what this story did. Gives information and facts about Mount Rushmore. Now, Mount Rushmore is a place, so both the M in Mount is capitalized and the R in Rushmore. Make sure you got a period at the end. Two, how was the monument carved into the mountain? Reread if you don't remember the answer to that. How did they carve that monument? Number three says find the word blast on page 96. Use clues to figure out what it means. So if we look on page 96, the workers used dynamite to carefully blast away the rock. So what does blast mean then? Well, it meant to... Blast means to move the rock out of the way. And then my last two questions. Number four, why do so many people visit monuments and landmarks? 
Why are people visiting Mount Rushmore? Why are they visiting the Grand Canyon? Why are they visiting the MLK Monument? When you're done with five, for four, do number five. Would you like to visit Mount Rushmore? Why or why not? If you have been there, tell me if you liked it or not. I know when I went, my family really enjoyed it because we got to see and just be able to understand how huge it is in person. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and tuck your Wednesday, um, you can tuck this back into your Wednesday folder. Make sure you check it off on your weekly checklist.